I need more explanation regarding the Old Testament and New Testament. Which one is Torah and which one is Injil? As far as the question is concerned about Old Testament and New Testament, which one is Torah, which one is Injil, just in brief, as far as the Bible of the Christian is concerned, there are various hundreds of versions of Bible. The two most popular sects of Christianity or denomination of Christianity, the, the largest is the Catholic and the second is the Protestant. In the Catholic version of the Bible, the Bible contains 73 books. The, and the Bible is divided into Old Testament and the New Testament. The Bible of the Catholics contains 73 books. The Old Testament contains 46 books. And the New Testament contains 27 books. In the Bible of the Protestants, that is the KJV, King James Version and the other versions, it contains 66 books. The Old Testament contains 39 books. And the New Testament contains 27 books. So in the New Testament, whether it be of the Catholics or the Protestants, there are same number of books, that is 27. But in the Old Testament, the Catholics have got 46 books in the Old Testament and the Protestants have got 39 books in the Old Testament. The Protestants, what they say, that seven books of the Old Testament from the Catholic version of the Bible, they are apocrypha. They are doubtful. That's the reason they have removed these books and the Bible of the Protestant, the Old Testament contains only 39 books. The seven books they have removed as apocrypha. They are talking about the Old Testament and the New Testament. But as I told you, the Bible is in hundreds and thousands of versions. Some Bibles have got 81 books, some have got 82 books. Let's not go into the details. I have discussed about the two major denominations, the Catholics and the Protestants. Now coming to your question, what is the Torah and what is the Injil? To cut it short, the first five books of the Old Testament is called as the Pentateuch or the five books written by Prophet Moses. That is the Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. So these five books, according to to the Jews, they call it as the Torah. But naturally, there is Torah, Talmud, etc. But the first five books of Moses, they call as the Torah. And in the Old Testament, the first five books are called as the Pentateuch. And that is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. As far as your Injil is concerned, the English word used is gospel. In the New Testament, the first four books are called as the gospels. Gospel of Matthew, Gospel of Mark, Gospel of Luke and Gospel of John. There are first four books are called as gospels. Now, there were many gospels in the Council of Niche in 325 CE, they picked up these four gospel, gospel according to Matthew, gospel according to Mark, gospel according to Luke and gospel according to John and they called is the canonical gospel. Gospel means the good news. In English, good news. In Arabic it's called as gospel. In Arabic, Injil. I'll come to Injil later on. So there are many other gospels, gospel of Matthew, Gospel of Barnabas, many Gospels. So these four Gospels were picked up by the Council of Niche and they are called as the canonical, book, canonical Gospels. So these four, first four books are called as the Gospels. Gospel according to Matthew, Gospel according to Mark, Gospel according to Luke, Gospel according to John. Now, the correct translation of the word Injil is Gospel. But many people, when I go, or to the Arab land, that when I say Bible, they translate Injil. Bible is not the correct translation of the word Injil. Though, when I give lecture and the translator is there, when I say Bible, he said Injil. I said, no, I said Bible. Bible 
comes from the Greek word biblos, meaning a book of books. Bible is derived from the Greek word biblos, meaning book of books. Injil means good news. So, I can't see. Injil, if you translate, the closest to Injil would be gospel. So when the Quran mentions the word Injil, it is talking about the Wahi given to Isa alayhi salam. The present Bible is not the Wahi given to Isa alayhi salam. The present Bible is a book of books. It is many books. What the Quran says, the Injil, the Wahi given to Isa alayhi salam. What they have, even the first four books of the New Testament, is not the Injil. It is Injil a Matthews. Gospel according to Matthew, Injil Marcus, Gospel according to Mark, Injil Lucas, Gospel according to Luke, Injil Johanna, Gospel according to John. What we want is Injil Isa. There is no Injil Isa in the Bible. So the Injil which is mentioned in the Quran is the Wahi given to Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. And we believe that is the word of God. But that has not been maintained in its pure form. So what today they have a Bible, is a book of books. And even the first four books, it doesn't say, it says gospel according to Matthew. Because Matthew did not sign his name. It says gospel according to Mark. Because Mark didn't sign his name. It is gospel according to Luke. Because Luke didn't sign his name. It is gospel according to John. Because John signed his name. So even those four books, the name is according to, according to, because they don't know who the author is. So that's the reason we have to understand that when the Quran says Injil, most of the people freely translate as Bible, but you know, because they are not expert in comparative religion. And comparative religion is, uh, is my specialty. I say that when I use the word Bible, please don't translate as Injil in Arabic and don't angel, translate Injil into Bible. What the Quran says is the wahi which was given to Isa alayhi salam. And what today, the wahi which was given to Isa alayhi salam has not been preserved in its pure form. And Allah didn't think it fit to be preserved. So, if you ask me what is the gospel, I have given you the definition of the gospel. I have spoken about the four canonical gospel and the other gospel. But what the Quran uses the word Injil is the wahi which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Isa alayhi salam that Prophet Jesus. We believe in that, that's a revelation, but the present Bible is the mixture. It is the word of God. Whatever matches with the Quran, we have no problem in agreeing it's the word of God. It has the word of the prophet, it has the word of historian, I'm sorry to say it is even as pornography. So, we have to understand this. This is the difference. In brief, I hope that answers the question.